Hi friends, thank you so much for joining our weekly inspiration call. I appreciate your time. Today is Thursday, May the 28th, and if you are listening live, thank you for joining. If you're watching the replay, uh, thank you for your time. Feel, always feel free to message me on Facebook or message me um, via email. And um, yeah, what is next? So today we are talking about what does it mean to live deliberately? Um, basically, the opposite of living deliberately would be just to live by default, right? To not um, have really a plan or a goal. So another way that I think of living deliberately is how I've been having my daily mantra, like something that we can go to each day that reminds us of our purpose, reminds us of our calling and who we are. We are all called to be someone and um, living deliberately is about finding out what that is and uh, growing towards that. And um, every day in some way, you know, getting 1% better is how my mentors have taught me um, to, to gauge, you know, judge, measure my success, to have 1% better a day, because how um, duplicatable is that? If we could all just have a goal of doing 1% better each day, um, we would all feel successful and we would all be um, knowing of who we are right? So you are invited. We have an event coming up and you are invited to join us. Message me to get the invitation for that event. You can go to my Facebook page um, and find that virtual event that we're going to be having this weekend. Um, again, or you can message me. I will put my email below this so that you can send me a message um, as well. So I just want you to get plugged in. I want you to get plugged in to the content, to what is bringing um, so many of us a success, success, a feeling good. Um, if you're not already plugged in, let's get you plugged in. Um, congratulations to our my mentors. Our mentors, uh, Robert and Terry, have hit super affiliate and they are maintaining that rank, which means they're getting bonuses and all the benefits of that. Um, you basically hold a rank for three months in our opportunity and you then earn all of the rank advancement bonuses on top of that. And then Melody Riba is 10K and has been maintaining that. I love you. Thank you guys so much for giving us an example and a platform to run on. I celebrate you and your growth. And I'm excited because I can measure my growth. Um, you're teaching me, teaching us to be able to measure our growth in the same way. So thank you, I appreciate that. This is such a time of awakening. This is such a time of just birth, rebirth, um, not only in people, but in technology and what we have access to here on the World Wide Web, um, on social media. Um, it's just massive growth, massive momentum is what's possible. That's what makes um, you know our life really deliberate. So I'm going to give you a five, um, basically five um, ways that I have been able to um, see growth, even when it's not easy. Um, we know that growth doesn't always feel good. People choose to grow and people choose not to grow. And a lot of times it's because of the growing pains, right? We've all heard of growing pains, um, but how do we become stronger? If you've ever grown plants or had a garden, you know that the wind can actually create strength. And that goes for our life as well. And the things that we encounter and see in our lives, um, we can absolutely choose to grow despite it all. Um, and how do I do that? So how do we keep it simple and duplicatable, right? How do we pass this along to our kids and uh, give them the manual for life um, in, you know, being successful and growing and having a purpose driven life? Um, this is it. It's simple. We can make videos, we can write things down and find, you know, the path that works for us the best and then pass that down to them. So I hope you're writing in your journal each morning. If you haven't already started a journal, now would be a great time to start one. Um, writing is another way that we grow, not only reading, but writing as well. Um, anyway, let me get into the five, um, to the five different things. These are Simple, duplicatable things you can do, you can start doing right now in your life, okay? So number one is tell, we want to tell our story the way we want to see it. Um, there's always going to be a, a variety, right, of ways that we can tell our story, period. 
<laughs> despite where we are and um, you know where we've come from, there's always going to be experience. There's always going to be our today, and there's always going to be you know a future plan um, that we're working towards. So what we want to get into the habit of doing every single day, no matter what, in every circumstance and situation, is to be describing and telling our story as we want it to be, and affirming that lying. No, I'm not saying say something different than where you are, but be able to see where you're going and be able to see the truth of what's inside despite what we see, because we all know that what we physically see is not reality, right? We know that we're more than just what we see. So what I'm asking you to do is look deeper into your story, look deeper than what we see um, to that picture of what we want, to that desire, whatever that feeling is of your dream, your purpose, your calling, um, highlight that, look towards that. You know, some people describe it as positive or negative. Do the next positive, look at the next positive um, and talk about that. Um, Number two, every subject has two sides, or every so, every everything has two subjects, basically. Um, and this is just going to take this a little bit deeper, a little bit more um, details. But what we want to do is pivot to the one that is um, for us, to the one that is growth minded, right? So some options are abundance versus poverty. Uh, health versus illness, or health versus the lack of health, um, happiness versus sadness. So in any moment of our day when we get into or face a subject that we um, really don't have a, a good feeling about, that means it's taking us away and we're getting farther away from who we really are and where our heart set really is and what our purpose and our calling is. Um, that's what that means. So we want to pivot towards what is our calling and what is your purpose. Um, and that would be the abundance side versus the poverty, the health side versus the illness. You know, we can't, I'm not asking you to take the diagnosis that we've received and, and just pretend it doesn't exist and pretend like that's not happening. Um, I'm just saying, look further and beyond it, in fact, even. Um, okay, uh, so, you know, a lot of times for me, that's focusing on my mental strength, focusing on a spiritual level of strength versus a physical strength. Um, you know, there's always either or that we can be looking at. So we wanna get into the habit of pivoting and pivoting quickly. Um, some people, sometimes I've said this is changing your state you could describe it as that as well. Um, but when I say pivot, it makes it really simple term. You know, it's not this huge thing of changing our state all the time. It starts with a small pivot of what we look at in our day. That's it. It's that simple, literally, um, to be able to then, you know, see a new story in our life um, um, or see that, that right-sided story right? Um, okay, number three is adopt the belief that you create your life and your reality. Um, this is really huge because when I really adopted this and took it, took it away from, oh, I'm just going to pray for what I want and then God is going to do it for me. And I really adopted the belief that I am a co-creator with my creator. And we do this together. This is teamwork. I'm not just going to pass the baton. Um, what this means is coming together as a team and being able to lay aside things that I might not have the control over and being able to then focus on what I do have the control over, right? Or what you have the control over. Being sound in our mind and in our spirit is valuable. It's valuable to spend time growing our mind and our heart set in our spirit as well as working out our body and going to the gym and running and doing all the things we know physically we need to do to stay in shape and stay healthy, eat healthy, take our vitamins and supplements, take your CBD oil, uh, keep your system balanced. Like we know all these things, but friends, honestly, Science has proven um, that the way we look at something, simply looking at it changes things. 
science is proving this. So it's powerful and important to be able to realize that we can also change any single thing that we are looking upon um, or keep it the same, right? Being able to keep things the same and keep that good steady flow of abundance and love is important and valuable as well, right? Versus veering off down, um, you know, an off, off the path, off the beaten path, right? Off, off a path, off your path, right? Important thing is staying on your path, knowing that you're on your path and that you're not getting redirected or rerouted, recalculated somewhere else. Um, that's when you begin to not feel good. That's where, um, you know, um, we kind of fall out of alignment, right? So number four is recognizing that being in alignment means feeling good. So keeping ourselves feeling good. I know we think it's too simple and that it's not going to help or do anything to just simply feel good, but it does. We do get results. We do receive in those times of feeling good when I'm just playing with my kids and enjoying those moments wholeheartedly. Um, things happen in my business then or in my relationships, in my other relationships, right? Growth happens in all areas when we feel good when we really pay attention and focus on allowing ourselves to feel good, that is being in alignment. I know you've heard, <clears throat> excuse me, I know you've heard being in alignment before. And I used to just kind of get confused at that and what that really means. Um, just a sec. Um, but as I've meditated and prayed on this more, you know, I really do believe that being in alignment is simply being in, in mind, in the mind of God, um, being aligned with my God minded thoughts. Um, again, here's where my mantra each day helps bring me back. I start in the morning, <clears throat> excuse me, with a mantra and I continue it um, right now. My goal is each hour of the day, um, but at least morning and night. For sure, you want to have a mantra that brings you back to your purpose, your calling, where you can just say a statement or a sentence or a word and quickly uh, be reminded of what that emotion, that feeling, that goodness is in your life um, that you want to focus on. Okay, so number five, this is the last one. And this is, so the question, you know, you really just want to ask ourselves, we want to ask ourselves is what is our most spectacular view? What is our most best view of ourselves? of who we are, right? What is the biggest purpose? What is the best calling that we have or the highest calling, right? And um, the truth is it's seeing ourselves through creator, not through our own eyes, but choosing to lay aside how we see ourselves or how we've become in a habit of seeing ourselves for a while to be able to adopt that higher view of how we are seen through our creator. Um, I call this God, um, the universe, you know, uh, where we come from, where we come from in the big view, the best view of all, right? What brings, that's what brings us into true harmony, um, peace of mind, uh, that attractor factor I've heard people describe it as of, you know, some, you can hear people talk about, you know, it's everything good happens to this person or these people. Like you look at my mentors, um, on my team, people in our team, um, on Facebook, um, you know, good things happen to those that look at the good things and who, that are grateful for the good things. Um, we continue to attract the good. Uh, and when we falter and maybe take a look at the opposite, um, you know, there's always going to be those two sides we can look at. And we, you know, take a glance at what might we, where we might feel impoverished, impoverished, right? There might be areas of our life at times where we don't feel rich and abundant. It could be in our body and our health. It could be in our bank account. It could be in our relationships. Um, if we don't have a mate or a spouse or someone there to, to share time with every day, share our, what we love, our hopes, our dreams, um, we can ha get into the habit of feeling uh, less than or like we're not worth it or, you know, like what we're doing isn't valuable. And the truth is, whatever you're called to do is of value, no matter how simple it may seem. It could be coming to social media each day, literally, and inspiring your friends and family um, to be their best self, right? Whatever that calling is for you, follow that. However simple it may seem, follow it for a time. 
keep a documentation of it, write things down, um, see if it is helping you be successful and feel better each day, right? So thank you for spending time with me listening today. If you're listening from the phone, um, I know you're not on video here and I can't see you, but if you can feel free to unmute yourself at any time and ask a question. Um, I am open to question questions at the end of this. Um, I do like to make the most value of your time. So if there are no questions, I will let you go for today. And I invite you again to our event. If somebody shared this video with you, please reach out to them, get connected to our events and our mentorship that we are involved in learning and growing, um, just really learning to be our best self, learning to be able to serve um, despite any circumstance, circumstance or condition that we're in. Um, with technology and the growth of social media and, and um, video, you know, hear this, you know, you're able to sit and watch this video. This is amazing, amazing growth that we're seeing in the world today. And I'm just grateful to be able to be a part of this and to be able to have you here being a part of this as well. Thank you. I invite you back next week to join us and, um, and I will talk to you more soon. Thank you. God bless you. And I pray for your success daily. Bye for today.